Bobby Flay, welcome to Let's Be Honest. How are you? I'm so glad to be here. You know, I love being in your company. Oh, you're sweet. No, I do. I That's re- very I, nice. I really do. Um, we had dinner in Nashville yep. a few months ago, and I had the best, most fun time. It was fun. I actually, yeah. we're going to get to that because you said some of the funniest dating stories that I've ever heard that night. And I was going to say, having a couple drinks with you at dinner is very fun. I mean, I was laughing my ass off. Well, <laughs> I mean, not, you're not liquored up today, so we'll see what we can get out. of I you, am but. not liquored up today, but I, you know, what do you have? Any, any tequila? Well, I, can, I can get you something. Yeah, I knew I was gonna <laughs> like the 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 dinner that we had. As soon as we, as soon as you sat down, you're like, oh, yeah. What kind of tequila do you guys have? I yeah, was like, okay, boom, game yeah. over from there. I don't know though. I'm kind of turning on tequila. You are? I know. I don't know what's going on. I think honestly, I'm turning on alcohol in general. Okay, I'm just like going through a phase. You know, I don't blame you. I mean, it's one of the things that you notice right away when you stop drinking a little bit, like things are just clearer. <laughs> oh, you feel so much, I sleep yeah. so much better yeah. too. The sleep is really the key. It, that's huge. Cause I sleep like shit if I mm-hmm. even have one drink. Right. Okay, okay, but I wanna, let's go back because it's pub day for you. You have yes. a new book out. Thank so congratulations, you. book 18. You this just is my sold? 18th book. It's called Bobby Flay chapter one. I mean, that's insane, 18 yeah. books. So this is a, it's a cookbook, but it's also a coffee table book. I mean, it's definitely a coffee table book. This is the, I would say the most, this is the nicest book I've done. Okay. You know? So it, like, you know, the thing that I really was, um, one of the things I was really happy about was like when I took the first book out, when they sent it to me from the publisher, I was like, is it heavy enough? Mm. Like I wanted to have that heft to it. Yeah. And there's, I don't have any books like this. And, you know, it's a hundred recipes from my career that I chose and I updated them for today. And every single um, recipe has a full page color picture. So it's amazing. Like, it's it's definitely a, a, a it's a gift. If it's a coffee table book, yeah. it's definitely a collector's item. And it is beautiful. Thank what you. made you want to do this instead of just a traditional cookbook? I've always want. Listen, I'm a chef by trade, and you know, if you're a chef, or if you're if you're somebody who loves to cook like me, and you you have an opportunity to write books like this. You always want that thing that is like the big book. Mm-hmm, you know, it's mm-hmm. sort of like the resume of your career. And so, you know, I just feel like I'm just getting started in my career, even though I've been doing it for a long time and I have lots of other things to do and I'm doing them now. But I didn't want to leave what I've done behind quite yet. And so okay. I brought this book to life. Amazing. And thank you for asking. Yeah, Actually, no, it's, and it's, I mean, you have it. I think it's worth holding up and uh, showing. I wanted, oh, where's the camera? Oh, hi. <laughs> Oh, there. Here you go. It's but, it is beautiful. But I, but I do want to tell you something. This is the very first book that I've signed. I'm honored. And it's, it's got your name in it right here. Look at that. Okay? What did you say? I just said. Okay, yeah. I kept it simple. <laughs> Classic. Yes, exactly. Classic guy. But how do you have time to do everything? Because you are busy. This is your 18th book. 18th book. You have multiple TV shows. You're a dad. You're constantly cranking out content for social media. I mean, you you're opening multiple restaurants still. How do you? Or I guess the better question is, what motivates you to keep doing it all? What gets you out of bed in the morning? I think it's, you know. I, I, gr- I dropped out of high school when I was in, like 16 or 17 years old. 10th grade, I was done. And I won't bore you with all the details. That's another podcast. I don't know. I feel like that is a pretty good I know, story. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's just a long story. Yeah. But, you know, basically, I could not really learn in school in a traditional way. Mm-hmm. And I was going to, when I was in high school, they weren't testing kids for every single thing possible. Yeah. But I definitely had some sort of, le- or do, had some, have some learning disorder of some, of some sort. And, um, or disability. And so mm-hmm. I, I did not want to open an English textbook. Ironically, I have 18 cookbooks, yeah. but, but I didn't want to open an English textbook and learn. That was, that was not the way I was going to do it. So I did no work. It wasn't that I was a bad student. I was not a student. <laughs> I did nothing. And, you know, I was hanging out with my friends. I was playing sports. I was, I was a good athlete, but that was all I was interested in. Yeah. And then when I finally quit high school, I went to work in, in a restaurant just because I needed a job. Oh, and I was wow. like, I was loving it because I was, for the first time I was learning something and I was doing it by using my hands. Yeah. And I need, I needed a vocational education, which we don't have enough of in this country. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not going to get in a soap op, soapbox about <laughs> that, but I really believe that. Yeah. Not every kid learns the same way. I completely agree. Me included. Yeah. I mean, having three kids, I see that just with my own kids. You right. know, it's very apparent. They're different. Yeah. Very different. Yeah. yeah. So, so getting back to your question, I, I do it because I love to cook so much. It's the way that I show my adoration to my friends and my family. Mm-hmm. Um, I cook for them and I cook all the time. I cook in some way, shape or form almost every single day. Wow. Almost every single day. Do you ever get in a, in a slump though, where you're just like, ah, you're uninspired. You don't oh, know what absolutely. to make. I mean, that happens to me all the time. Well, it's, like, it's like writer's block. You know, it's the yeah. same thing. It's like, 
I don't want to make the same thing over right. again. And, and like, but I need inspiration. And so I travel for inspiration. Okay, yeah. And it could be local travel. It could be like, I'm going to go to a restaurant in LA tonight and go check out what they're doing because I'm going to learn something. Yeah. Or it can be like, I'm going to go to Italy today and spend a week there and just eat and see what's going on. That's amazing. I mean, so it can be any anything along those lines. I always get inspired no matter where I am when it comes to cooking. Okay, yeah, I love that. And then out of all of the job titles that you do have, so TV personality, chef, obviously, author, what is your favorite? Cooking. So just chef, yeah. Being a chef. Yeah, okay. Be, in, in my restaurants, um, to me, that's the, like when I put my apron on, it, it's my it's my sort of protector from the world. Mm -hmm. you know? It's my shield. Yep. And it's the place that I, I love to be. I love to inspire people that, work with with me or alongside of me um and also it's just it's just the, my happiest place it's like my days go really quick when i'm in my chef whites and i'm cooking i love that okay i want to shift gears for a minute okay you, shocking you ready yeah <laughs> that's all fine and great bobby but no, i'm just kidding okay so you've been married three times oh my God. <laughs> you know this is, let's be honest i know wait have i yes i have right yes. <laughs> okay so is marriage off the table completely or would wow, you do it again right to the jugular. we're just gonna re really go in here okay. um <laughs> do you want that drink I, now no, no i'm okay i'm like starting to sweat a little bit it's all right i knew it listen when i called you and said can i please be on your podcast i knew what i was getting yeah, myself exactly. into. I knew, I knew who you were um is it off the table if you ask me today i would i'd say probably yes okay um because I don't know. You know, for me, it hasn't been the best situation, obviously. Um, that said, I don't feel like I need to do it again. Right. Um, I have an amazing daughter who's 28 years old. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not having any more kids as, as far as I know. <laughs> and I and I just and I just think like I I I would be interested in a life partner for sure. Yep. Um, but I don't think it necessarily needs the documentation. I I get that. Even <laughs> doing it one time, I'm sort of like, what's the point? I How do you feel? I mean, similar to you, I'm in no rush. I feel like I would maybe get married again, but it's not something that I have to do. Right. It's, you know, I would, and I would never rush into something ever again. That's for damn sure. Right. So yeah, we'll see. Okay. okay. But so when you look back, I'm not going to ask you specifically about your divorces, but when you look back at all three of them, <clears throat> is there one pattern that you notice, even if that pattern is picking the same type of woman, is there something that you've been able to look back on and really learn from and grow from? No, they were completely different. All three completely were, different. All three very completely different. Um, you know, obviously, I find them to be am amazing people. Otherwise, I wouldn't have, ma wouldn't have married them, yeah. of course. But, you know, listen, things things happen. Yeah. Two of my marriages were very short and one was a lot longer. Um, but they were just very, very different and, so, and somewhat they were di under different circumstances. Right. I mean, first time I was really young. Yeah. Um, I almost feel like those ones shouldn't count. You know, if you're like yeah. under 25, like let's just no, call I know. Wash, I, you know? Yeah, I know. I, and I just thought, so they were, they were all different, but like I haven't been married now for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And um, I I actually, I, I feel more comfortable not being married. And oh, I interesting. Okay, yeah. It, 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 like, I think there's like maybe less pressure. I'm not yeah. really sure. I think that once, like for me, like I, the thing I notice is once you, once you sign a document that says you are now together, there's something that changes. Like, and I think when you try to explain that to people who have never been married before, they don't know what you're talking about. They're like, what's I, yeah, the I difference? Agree. And I'm yeah. like, well, there is a difference, <clears throat> but I can't really put my finger on it. You know what I've said is I'm open to the idea of telling everyone I'm married, but not actually legally being married. Okay. You know what I mean? Like sure. even having a ceremony, everyone thinking we're married. Get a big ring, married. have a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. But not going through with it legally. Yeah. Just, I don't know. So everyone keeps... Not trying is the wrong word, but just so everyone doesn't get too comfortable. Yeah. Maybe is the right thing. You could still leave if you needed to. A lot easier, easier. anyways. Easier. Yeah, because obviously when that when it when you when it when it comes time to end it, it's not that simple. <sighs> it's not simple. Here's a brand that I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of, and that is Beam. I think a very under-discussed aspect of women's health is our hormones. Hormone imbalance can often be the root of issues like brain fog, energy levels, and so much more. So recently, I started using Glow by Beam. You guys know that I'm always trying to improve my health, and so that's why I'm also really excited about this. 
Did you know hormone fluctuations are extremely common in women and hormones can have an effect on our health in a multitude of ways, impacting everything from menstrual cycles to acne, to sleep, to brain fog, to weight, to skin health. And I mean, the list just goes on and on. Glow is a simple addition to my daily wellness routine that was designed to support women's hormones. It's formulated with 18 comprehensive active ingredients, plus vitamins, minerals, and natural antioxidants. I've found it to be the simplest way to keep up with my hormones, my hydration, and everything in between. Glow's benefits include supporting common hormone fluctuations, as well as fluctuations in metabolism, immune function, collagen production. Glow's ingredient list was hand-selected to be intentionally beneficial to your overall health. And it's as easy as one simple step per day. Your inner glow up has never been more simple or tasty. So all you're gonna do is just one scoop per day in eight to 16 ounces of water and you're good to go. If you want to try Glow, get up to 35% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com slash honest and use code honest at checkout. That's shopbeam.com slash honest and use code honest for up to 35% off. Okay, let's talk about DraftKings. Waiting for dinner? Spice things up with Golden Nugget Online Casino. With hundreds of the hottest games, Golden Nugget lets you live it up in your downtime on classics like Cleopatra or exclusive games only found on Golden Nugget Online Casino. Forget about waiting. Golden Nugget keeps the action rolling while your dinner simmers. For Uncommon James, we've actually started every year. Our holiday party is casino theme. So it has made me obsessed with casino games. Ideally, I would go to Vegas, but I can't work that into my schedule right now. So this has actually been really fun for me to just have these games on my phone anytime I'm I'm waiting, like carpool line, picking up my kids is a great example of when it's really fun for me to just pull up Golden Nugget Online Casino and I can play whatever games my little heart desires. Okay, guys, so new players can get $50 instantly in casino credits. All you have to do is sign up with code HONEST and deposit just $5 to get 50 in casino credits. Make any moment golden gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER or in West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net. Please play responsibly, 21 plus, physically present in Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia only. Void in Ontario, one per new customer, minimum $5 deposit, max $50 issued in non-withdrawable casino credits that expire in 168 hours. See terms at goldennuggetcasino.com slash welcome. I want to talk to you guys about a brand that I know you know and love, and that is Gatorade. Specifically, I want to talk to you guys about Gatorade Hydration Booster. You guys know that I absolutely love electrolytes and I drink them every single day. Well, Hydration Booster contains electrolyte levels suitable for all day, always on hydration, so you can enjoy Gatorade Hydration Booster throughout the entire day. Advanced blend of electrolytes from watermelon, sea salt, and other sodium and potassium salts. This product contains 30 calories and 5 grams of sugar versus liquid IV, which contains 45 calories and 11 grams of sugar. They're packed with essential vitamins backed by Gatorade's superior science experts. They have no artificial flavors, sweeteners, or added color, which you guys know I absolutely love. They help keep you at your best, no matter what the day throws your way. This product is for anyone with a lot on their to-do list. Electrolytes are not just for athletes, you guys. I love drinking electrolytes when I'm working out, if I'm going in the sauna, if you're feeling a little run down, which maybe you guys can hear it in my voice right now, but I am. I love that the electrolytes and Gatorade hydration booster come from recognizable sources like watermelon juice and sea salt. That is right up my alley. If you guys have not gotten on the electrolyte bandwagon, I'm telling you, once you start, you will never go back. So definitely check out Gatorade hydration booster. Put your water to work with Gatorade hydration booster. You can use code boost20 on Gatorade.com to try it yourself for 20% off. You are recently, fairly recently single. Am I? And that's what I hear. That's what People Magazine's reporting. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Let's be honest, and People Magazine. Yes, exactly. (laughs) True journalism. Exactly. Are you back on the dating scene? Okay, so this is what I'm really here. I I really, I I need some advice from you. (sighs) Okay, let's go. Because, like, the answer is, I don't know if I'm on the dating scene. (laughs) I just, I'm like, honestly, I don't know what to do. I love that answer. Because I'm, I'm single, 
Okay. And so what does that mean? Do you need to like get back out there right away? Do you need to start dating people? Can't you just go out and have fun with friends? Right. Like, like honestly, like to me, that that's 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 my favorite thing to do just yeah. because it's it's again, there's no pressure. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say, Oh, I'm 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 going out with this person. I didn't want to tell you that I was going out with this person. It's like Oh, I know. <laughs> it's I know. it's just it's just easier. It you know? is easier. And so, but that's but then again. You also, do you want to have a relationship like that you can build upon? I mean, right. there's, there, there's give and take in, in both in both parts of it. But for me, it's like, if I wanted to start dating again, what do I do? I'm not going on the apps. Right, okay, so that was, I was okay, going to ask this, you, how this, are you meeting people? Well. And you're completely against the apps. Not even Raya. Where I can't do it. I know. I, and I I'll tell you why you. I can't. I, I don't want to, I'm a very private person yeah. with my private life. Mm-hmm. Other people like to talk about my private life. I don't like to talk about yeah, it yeah. because the rest of my life is so public because I've been on television basically mm -hmm. my entire adult life. Yeah. So I like keeping as much as I can my private life to myself. Mm -hmm. But that said, some, it seems like there are some people who are interested in what I'm doing in my, <laughs> in my personal life. I'm not really sure why it's not that exciting. <laughs> but I, I do wonder, and so I don't want to go on the apps because then it becomes a public thing. Yeah. Somebody's gonna make it public. Yep. And so, but that's how everybody's meeting people these days. It is, I know. Um, and so I guess, you know, I guess the, you know, for me, <sighs> for me, you know, I'm so old school when it comes to this stuff. You know, like my father, like always taught me to be like, like a gentleman and to do things the right way. And there's a proper, like, um, process to, to to go about it and yeah. and you know and I I kind of like that kind of old school way of, of 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 thinking and trying to meet somebody, but people aren't used to doing that anymore. I know it's a different world out there. Yeah. Would you ever slide into the DMs or have you ever? I have, but never in a way that would be like. Actually, I have to. I have. I want to talk to you about this. Okay. <laughs> because you and I had a situation where. I was going oh to Nashville. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's talk Can about I tell it. Us? Yes, okay. absolutely. I was going to. I was coming to Nashville <laughs> literally for one day yep. for a meeting, and I was like, "Who do I know in Nashville?" Okay, so I DM'd you. Yeah, and I was like, and and I said to you, now I, I know what I what words I use specifically because you reminded me. <laughs> I said, "Can I? I'm going to be in Nashville for one night. Can I take you to dinner?" Yeah, and you literally said something to me like, "I'm already like dating somebody." Yeah, or I and think I was it like, was like, "I'm." Um, I was like, I'm, I'm over dating right now. It was like, I was like burnt out on dating or something. Yeah. So I was just no, like, you said, I've, I've already started I seeing somebody. Oh, mate, Okay. And I said, I just want to go to dinner with you. I was like, uh, <laughs> foot in mouth. No, <laughs> no. And then, and you, and then of course they're like, you were like, oh, okay. I get yeah. it. And then. And we had the best time. We had the best time. Yeah. But what you taught me is something I didn't know. Which you is. Said, the words that you used made me feel that way. You said, when you, when you yeah. said. Can I take you to dinner? Yeah. To me, that Which, is a date. Okay. Right? I mean. I didn't think of it that way. I know. I, I, I sh and what I should have said was, will you have, di what am I supposed to say? Well, right now I'm trying to think about it. But also I think there's a fair argument that I shouldn't just assume. I said this to you too. I probably shouldn't have just assumed that you also wanted to take me on a date. But I think that's fair too. I'm all, oh, everyone wants to take me out. <laughs> like, calm down. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah, relax, Kristen. Yes, exactly. Like, yeah. I just, so I think there's a combination of that. But I guess the right thing to do is say, hey, I'm going to be in Nashville for a day. Um, if you're free, I'd love to go to dinner. Okay. Instead of like take you to dinner, maybe. Really? I don't know. <sighs> yeah. I think like the take you to dinner thing is more where it was like, oh, that seems like a date. Okay. All right, so my bad. No, hey, listen, it yeah. worked out. It's okay. all good. We okay. ended up going to dinner. Yeah, 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 it was exactly. fine. But that's the but that's the thing I don't get. Okay. Because everything is now through technology. I know. It's like it's like if I meet somebody, like if somebody says to me, my 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 um, ex girlfriend, who is the loveliest person in the world, well, I, we were put together by a mutual friend, mm -hmm. and I texted her and I said, "Do you have time for a call?" And like, you know, some of the people that like work for me are like in their thirties and they're like, that never happens. Ever. Everything is always by text. Yeah. Right. That is a great move though for a guy is picking up the phone <laughs> and calling a girl. I made an, I literally made an appointment with her on, on, on text to have a phone call with her just so we can get a vibe from yes, each other. Yes. Cause you get nothing on text. And we talked for like 45 minutes. Oh, and then wow. the next thing was like, 
let's meet. I love that. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I think that that's, that's a great way to gauge if you're going to have any sort of connection with some or chemistry with someone. Yeah. Picking up the phone. That's a great, a great skill to have. No one does that anymore. Okay. So you're not sliding into the DMs or you, you have once. What's your pickup line if you do that? I don't, I don't do that. No, it's no, like, it's just, I, I don't do, I don't do that. Like, and, and again, I think that sometimes you can, it can be misconstrued yeah. as to why you're texting well, like, yeah, clearly. somebody. Yeah. You know, right. Exactly. Yeah. And so I always like, if, if there's something that I think somebody does is really cool, I'll just say that. Yeah. I, okay, I won't be yeah. like, Hey, let's get together. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. I like that. Um, okay. So you do have really great dating stories. I mean, just laughing our asses off and I'm not going to make you say names. If you wanted to, we wouldn't hate you for it. Cause it does make the story no, so no, no, much no, better. No. I mean, I, okay, but fine. I can't kiss and tell. <laughs> I know. And I really respect that about you, but I did ask you beforehand, will you give us just one good dating story? Cause well, you've I'm, got, I'm going to give you, well, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a story and I don't know if it was a dating story or not. And this, <laughs> and, 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 and this is see like, you want to have me on, so I, I'll talk about this stuff. But I want to be here because I want advice from you. Okay. Okay. Right. I mean, I'm, you I'm you open. are you are a dating expert. Okay? I don't know about that. You are. I don't know. This is this. Listen, I listen to your podcast every Tuesday. I know you're the best. I'm like I'm like I'm like maybe I'm going to learn something today. I love you. Um, <laughs> I do listen to it. I know you I know. do. You're very sweet. Um, anyway, so um, let me let me ask your opinion. On okay. This. So. Obviously, I'm not going to mention any names. So <laughs> a handful of years ago, I had just gotten divorced. I just I just gotten separated. And a, a woman who um, <clears throat> I was definitely interested in sort of came into my universe. Yep. Right? And she came to the restaurant. She came to Gato. And she was with a bunch of her girls. And <clears throat> I cooked dinner for them. Okay. And at the end of the night, She's like, sit down, hang out with us. And she's like, we're going to go to this bar and hotel. Will you join us? And I was like, sure. <laughs> so we go to the bar and the hotel and we have the best time. And now it's like two o'clock in the morning. It's the middle of summer. It's a beautiful night out. And there's like lots of people there. And she says to me, let's go for a walk in the city. <laughs> I love this. And I was like, wow. Wow, I'm in. <laughs> so <laughs> see, but see, that's not what I was thinking. Oh, really? No, because <sighs> this might be hard for you to believe. I'm really shy when it comes to this stuff. Oh, interesting. I wouldn't see that. I, yeah. I, I'm very, like, I am very shy when it comes to this kind of stuff. I think that's sweet. And I think it's, I, again, I think it has something to do with the fact of my father teaching me to be the gentleman. Yeah. And this, you know? Yeah. And so I, so we go for this walk for like two hours. Wow. And we, and she was staying in New York, wasn't living in New York. And, we get, we, I walk her back to her hotel and there's that moment. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking moment. Okay. Yeah. Here's the moment. Okay? okay. This is a girl that was definitely had on my radar, like in a, in a, in a fantasy world, okay. not in a real world. Yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't really know her that well. But you knew who she was for a long time. Yes. And yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And here's, and here's the moment. And you know, it's two o'clock in the morning. We've had this lovely evening together and I, I just looked at her and I was like, thank you so much. Have a great night. Oh. And she looked at me like, oh. wow. And she went upstairs. <laughs> okay. And my girlfriends, like friends who are women, yeah. have said to me literally since that day that they're like, you totally blew it. Like oh. that was- That was your chance. That was your chance. Now, now the question is, and the reason why I didn't make any moves is because I had just really kind of, it was like the first night we had done anything socially together. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to blow it. And I wanted, I didn't want to be that guy. Which I love. So I think there's two things. Okay. I think, um, I, I well, love did you, you're, you're ready, you're I'm ready right, for let's this. Let's go. But did you follow up and ask her out later? <clears throat> I did. And what happened? Okay, well, <laughs> so the next morning, um, we had breakfast together. Oh. Well, like we just met, it's like for coffee. Okay. And then she, um, she asked me to, this is so weird. She asked me to go go to a party with her the next night, and then and then she literally blew me off. Like ghosted you? Like not? I wouldn't say ghosted. That would be strong. But basically, she was just like it didn't oh, happen. Oh, interesting. So I don't know. Like, did I? Like, it, did you actually blow it in that moment? Yeah. I don't think so because I will say though the couple of dates that I went on in the, my you know post divorce era in the last four and a half years the 
two guys who did not try to kiss me, I did walk away from it being like, what the hell? Right. One guy in particular, as he was dropping me off, asked me out again, but didn't make a move. So I knew he was interested, but I also was like, but why didn't he try? So I think it is confusing for a girl, but it's not like I wouldn't be like, oh, he blew it and not go out with him again. Yeah. So that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. The one that got away, perhaps? Well, maybe I just didn't have it. <laughs> you blew it at breakfast the next morning. I didn't, ha I didn't have morning. it anyway, exactly. <laughs> Like, thank God oh he didn't try to kiss God. me. Oh, my God. But see, I, I have to come back every week because this is how I learn. Okay, <laughs> you can come back as often as you want. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's chat about skims, specifically about their bras. If you guys are like me, then I absolutely hate underwire bras. They're always the first thing I take off when I get home. That is ultimate freedom when you take that bra off. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. Skims is changing the game for me. Now my bra is not the first thing that I take off. They are not only incredibly comfortable, but obviously I think most of us just feel more confident when we are wearing a bra. I have finally found the best bras and they're from Skims. I'm obsessed with their Fits Everybody plunge bra. The cups of this bra have a really unique shape that makes it perfect for different necklines. That is huge. My uniform typically is jeans and a tank top. So this bra works perfectly under all of my low cut tops. Some bras would peek through, but this one doesn't. And that is awesome. Okay, guys, definitely check it out. Shop Skims bras at skims.com. They're now available in 62 sizes, 30A all the way through 46H. If you haven't yet, be sure to let them know that I sent you. So after you place your order, select podcast in the survey and select my show, Let's Be Honest, in the drop down menu that follows. Let's talk about the farmer's dog. The farmer's dog makes real fresh dog food and delivers it right to your door. Recipes are developed by vet nutritionists made from real meat and veggies, and they're portioned just for your dog, making it easy to say goodbye to burnt brown balls and feed your dog real food with real benefits. Not only do my dogs just devour this food, but their coats are really shiny. Kona, my German Shepherd, is 10 and she's definitely getting older, but she's in the best shape. Honestly, she can keep up with my other two. And I really do credit the farmer's dog for that. It's smart, healthy pet food you can feel good about feeding your pup. It's the best option for dogs of all life stages because it's not kibble, it's not canned goo, it's real healthy food. Traditional dry and wet dog food options are highly processed. They can use much lower quality ingredients than they claim to, and they're extremely difficult to portion accurately. A fresh diet's been found to have all sorts of benefits from healthier coat and skin, like I was just saying, to fresher breath, even better digestion, and smaller, better poops. A healthy diet isn't just important for humans. We want to treat our dogs the same way we would our kids. You know, they are an extension of our family, and to a lot of us, they are our kids, so we want to take good care of them the same way we would ourselves even. Get 50% off your first box of fresh, healthy food at thefarmersdog.com slash honest. Plus you get free shipping. Just go to thefarmersdog.com slash honest to get 50% off. That's thefarmersdog.com slash honest. Okay, guys, let's talk really quickly about ritual. If you take probiotics, you might find this interesting. Lots of probiotics break down during digestion before they can even reach the colon. This can be obviously really irritating, not only because you may not be getting all of the microbiotics safely down to your biome, but also the early breakup of the capsule can irritate your digestive system. That's why Ritual's Symbiotic Plus is designed with a delayed release capsule to help reach the colon, an ideal place for biotics to grow and thrive. You guys know I love probiotics. I swear by them. And that's why I love Ritual's Symbiotic Plus. I take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach and I just feel great. I don't find that I get bloated at all hardly anymore. Everything is just moving and grooving. This daily three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic features two of the world's most clinically studied probiotic strains to support gut and digestive health. One daily pop of mint scented capsule for simple streamlined gut support. It's vegan friendly and formulated without GMOs, major allergens, animal products, shady fillers, and artificial colors. Get the good stuff to your gut with delayed release capsule tech that supports a balanced microbiome. Feel the difference daily with Symbiotic Plus. Get 25% off your first month at ritual.com slash be honest. That's 25% off at ritual.com slash be honest. Happy squatting. Well, I want to know a couple other cringy things that girls have done on dates. Have, have there been like some real 
cringy moments that you're just like, Ugh. I mean, not really. I've actually had a pretty good dating life. I yeah. mean, dating life. What's that's that's so weird. <laughs> I just I actually like going out on dates. Yeah, you seem like you would. Like I feel like yeah. you're good on a date. I like well, I like going out on dates because I like actually making plans and making sure that everything is set. Like I would never like call somebody up and say, "What do you want to do?" Oh God, I love you for that so much. The like, guy when do you want to go. I hate that. That's yeah, such you know? a buzzkill. Just make a plan. <laughs> Be a man and make a plan. I I sometimes I'll I, like if it's a first date or something, I'll say, "Here's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Are you into this? Because I I can arrange to, for us to go here or do this. If you're into that, if not, that's cool too. That's nice. Something. Yeah. But I think it's important to. I I think it's important. I mean, you know, equality everywhere, of course. But I think for like the old school in me guy, I'm going. I want to take care of taking care of, you know, making reservations. I love or, that. Or it is. That is lost too. I feel like now guys don't do is that it? anymore. I mean, not really. I think it's this generation. They just don't know how to just take charge and just plan a date, like right. just do the damn thing. So what is a typical date for you? Usually like, we go to lunch or dinner or something okay. like that. Are you picking them up? Like, okay. I, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I've, I'm I'm into picking people up at, at their house. Yeah. If, if if that's something in that your they, car or a driver. Well, if I'm going out to dinner, I'm not driving. Okay, right. Yeah. Because yeah, if you have a drink or what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to do that. Yeah. So definitely, um, not an Uber X. <laughs> <laughs> a regular Uber. A good car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, but like you know, it's it's. I, I think that kind of stuff is really really important. Mm -hmm. I think. Like it's at some point, if the person you're dating is like, you know, you're being too formal with me, I get it, but I, you, I'd rather step it back yeah. as opposed to being doing do, doing the doing the opposite. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'll, t I'll I will tell you, like, I, I I've had, like, I like as I said, I like dating, so I like I like the act of like creating the date and mm. having the date and all that. But there was one time where I made all these plans, and then the person I went out with was just like. No, we're not going there. I've made different. I've made different plans, and we're going to go here and here. And yeah, you told me like, this story. Oh. That I mean, we're God just completely kills it. That's a bummer. Well, I mean, listen, it happens. It happens. It's it just, it just, it's, and I, and also, like, if you go, I think I feel like if you go on a date and it's not a great date, it's okay. Yeah, right. It's not the end of the world. That's true. Yeah, you know, and maybe you become friends with the person. Yeah, that is true. You know. Has that happened to you a lot? Yeah. I feel like that never happens to me. No, it happens. Like I'm I'm pretty friendly with most of the people that I've gone been, on a date with. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. I would imagine that when you take girls to dinner, obviously all of these chefs and restaurants know who you are. Is it just like a Bobby? Uh. Well, that's the other thing. You don't want to do do that too much. Yeah. Because then yeah. it looks like you're showing off yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So like I like especially like on a first date, I like a low key place. Okay, lo right. Low key place. And yep. Like you're not trying to like show all of your all of your strut put everything out yeah. on the table like that i know i agree with you okay i want to talk I can't about you have notes i know i've got i prepare i prep this stuff i take this seriously <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, being back on the dating scene in the last four years a big thing for girls is when you are dating someone what you cook for a man for the first time okay really yeah like anytime i've cooked for a guy <laughs> for the first time i'm calling multiple friends i'm being like what do you think about this should i do this because Kind of what you're saying, you want to make a great meal, but you don't want it to seem like you tried so hard, right? Yeah. And you go over the top. So what is a foolproof dinner that girls can be making guys for the first time they cook for them? Chicken milanese. Okay. That, to, to me, that's one of my favorite things to eat and to cook. You know, it's like, it's, it's, it's got the best of both worlds. It's got, it's got crispiness. It yeah. has healthiness. It's easy to make. You probably won't overcook it um hopefully, hopefully. yeah um but look it's a breaded chicken cutlet yeah you know you have to know how to do that you have to saute in the pan and then like during the summer like lots of tomatoes arugula some Yum. parmesan cheese olive oil vinegar boom you're done okay great so you basically have a salad on top of this Love. crispy chicken dish and I think I think that's a, gr a beautiful dish okay cook. yum that's great yeah. I always go for steak but I'm I'm into that you are a very good eater I am a good eater. I noticed. I noticed when we went to dinner. Um, we were at Husk. Yeah, which I know you like to take a lot of people to. <laughs> <laughs> I took you to my date spot. <laughs> oh, well, this isn't a date, Bobby, but I'm taking you to my exactly. date spot. <laughs> well, I gave you a list of places. Yeah, and that to, was on there. To, yeah, you're like, let's go to Husk. I was like, okay. 
You're like, I just listen one to your of the podcast, dozen, you right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I took probably four or five guys there. Really? Probably five. Yeah. The was, staff really knows you very well there. <laughs> <laughs> Here back. comes another one. Hey guys, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, they put me on that list. You're I, on that list. I can promise you right now. There's a, in the kitchen, right, right when you open the doors, only the staff can see. There's a list oh, of all of uh, of Casey's. Um, and they're all just crossed exactly. off. All the guys. I'm on there. Yeah, You're Bobby on there. Flag, gone. You're on there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, Husk was great. Did you like it? Loved it. I mean, it's like an iconic restaurant, I yes. think, for Nashville. And I think their other one, their first one was Charleston. I can't yes, remember now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Husk but, is very good. But yeah, I like to eat. People don't think that about me. But you eat everything. I do. Like you, like um, you know the stereotypical like you know hot girl meal, right? It's like <laughs> we eat salads, you know, yeah, it's yeah. Like, which is crazy. <laughs> but um, but there was something on the menu. That, pigs, the fried pigs ears. Yes, exactly. You were, like, my were having that right away. They're my favorite. I was like, okay. I'm an adventurous eater. I'll, yes, I'll try just about anything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Flip side is, what do you cook for to impress a girl for the first time? It and depend- do you feel like you have to go all out since you are a chef? All out? No. Okay. Like in other words, I when I cook at home, the food is incredibly simple. Okay. And and it's like um I'm I'm not I'm not there in my chef coat like with tweezers putting on micro greens. I would love to see that. <laughs> First time you're cooking for a girl Could just you to fuck with her. Yes, actually, you know what? That's a good oh idea. Oh my god! Um, Please do that and then come back and we'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah, she left right away. Yeah, she exactly. got out of there so fast. No, but it's usually like I usually like makes like makes like fresh pasta. Like I'll make the noodles and like I'll do something like very seasonal. Nice. So like, like again, like if it's in the middle of summer, like just like a cherry tomato sauce with some Yum. garlic, some Parmesan cheese, olive oil, maybe some Calabrian chilies. Really simple Yum. things like that. Like, and just, just so like, they like, so, you know, so it's a handcrafted dish, but it's something like that everybody's going to yeah, want to eat. Yeah. You know? What I if think, a girl doesn't eat gluten? Well, I'll know that. <laughs> Get out. No, no. So I'll make, I'll <laughs> make something make else. you gluten free. Yeah, exactly. Do you I, make gluten free pasta? No, I wouldn't make, okay. no, I wouldn't you're make gonna, pasta. You're jumping ship. Yeah. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make pasta. I would, I would okay, make something yeah. that was not, not gluten Okay. So you're asking before, hey, do you have any food intolerances? Always. Yeah. Okay. Smart. I always ask. Yeah. Any food allergies or aversions? Okay. Just yeah. Tell me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Because listen, I we do that in the restaurant. Yeah. You have Every to. Every table, yeah. is, if somebody has a some, something that they have to deal with. Yeah. So we You're used to, to it. it. Yeah. Exactly. Well, as busy as you are, do you see yourself slowing down anytime soon? Like, what? Are, when are you going to retire? Do you ever think about it? What is the next ten years like for you? Discovery. I mean, I, you know, this book is called chapter one. Yeah. And, you know, everybody keeps asking me already, like, what's chapter two? It's probably going to be my adventures in, in Italy, which is the place that I really oh. love more than anything else. I invited you to come to the Amalfi Coast with us and you were like, I'm going to Greece. Well, shit. So here's the thing about me. Everything is planned out. I'm very scheduled. I can't just do shit last minute. If you want me to go to Italy, you need to book me a few months in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I was also trying to get to the Hamptons too. I know. I know. I t- Listen. We have the best time. I, and I, I'm I coming. I cook three meals a day. I, that's why I'm coming. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> just exactly. to eat. Okay, I, we got you. Next, I'm coming. I'm okay. coming. We'll do that. We'll book you for next summer now. Great, yeah, exactly. You lock exactly. me in now. You're locked in. <laughs> Great. Okay. Your room is safe. I appreciate that. Okay. I'm bringing my husband, Justin. Okay. No you're going to love him. Yeah. Yeah, great. Okay. Okay, well, great. I don't even know what we were talking about. Oh, no. You're the next <laughs> 10 years for you now. <laughs> the next 10 years. I mean, probably a lot more of the same. I mean, you know, I've been at the Food Network for 30 yeah. something years. Yeah. And you've got and, a great schedule with that. I mm-hmm. mean, you can knock out a show in a short window. Well, I have my own production company. So we we schedule it the way we want to. And I'm a... I'm a beast when it comes to work. Like I work ethic to me is the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Um, thankfully, my daughter has the same thing. Yeah. And so I, I, you know, so I'll do like 26 or 36 episodes of Beat Bobby Flay in a row. It's amazing. And, then, and, and like, and how many weeks? Well, we do two a day. Okay. You did the show a bunch I did, of I did the show a long time ago, I'm yeah. Ha- I want to have you back. I know, I was trying to make it work this fall. Oh, too. that's right. Or you almost spring. came. You almost I almost came. came. I know. Yeah, all right. Again, so you next gotta, season. That was a last minute thing. You gotta, I, we gotta book it now, Bobby. <laughs> I'm booked through March right now. Oh, are you really? I really am. Okay. Well, I've got a little opening here in December. Yeah, I mean, make sure know. she's on the books, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? When your kids are little, because the thing is, I have my How kids. How old are they? So 12, uh, 10, and almost nine. So, you know, it's like I can't, my time is limited, yeah. but I'm coming to the Hamptons. All right, we'll book you. Great. For sure. <laughs>
Okay. So you're not slowing down anytime anyway, so, soon. So you're it, traveling. So Italy is like, not just the Amalfi Coast, but Italy itself is like very special to me. Mm-hmm. There was a moment in time where after I had gotten divorced, I had been divorced for a few years. And I was just like, I'm just not feeling, I need to recharge myself. And I literally took my cat and went to Rome for six weeks. <laughs> I and, I, and I lived like a local in Rome for six weeks. Oh. I, took, I took language every single day for three hours. I ran the Tiber River every morning. I'm a runner. That's wow. What I do for cardio. And then I and then I I lived my best life. I was going wow. to lunch and dinner every single day. I oh. literally lost five pounds doing it. I, I don't believe really know it. How it happened? It's because the quality of food is so it's much the better process, over there. Yeah. Exactly. But <clears> um, <throat> I'm 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 I really love the lifestyle and the people and obviously the food yeah. and the culture of of Italy. Yeah. And all of it. So I think. If you know, I think I'm going to spend as much time as I can over there as well. Um, That's I just, amazing. I just love Europe. You it's know? the best. I agree. Italy, Rome is actually my favorite out of everywhere I've been I know, in Italy. But people don't know this. You've never been to Paris. I've never been to Paris. I know. I know. I've been saving it. I went to Paris with Sophie for the Olympics. Your daughter. The, the yeah. Time. Yeah. I want to ask you about Sophie because, you know, you guys are very close very. and she's 28. And you know, the, the time that we've been able to spend together, I can just tell what a great relationship you guys have together. And so I'm curious what your best parenting advice is. How have you guys been able to have such a great relationship? It's a great, that's a great question. <clears throat> I don't have all the answers. I can promise you that. First of all, I, um, I have a great kid and I, I and every parent will say that I got blessed with a kid who like, she makes it easy for me to parent. Yeah. Okay. So one of the things about, so Sophie's mom is a great mom and she's really strict. I'm less strict than her mom is. And so we make a very, very good team. Yeah. She is like, always like, I don't want her, like when she was a kid, I don't want her to do this and this and this. And I was like, let her do it. <laughs> if she runs a red light, it's fine. It's called life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you have to learn through things. Yeah. So the balance of us, the two of us, I think it was really helpful to her. Mm-hmm. I've only had to have about five conversations, what I call life conversations with Sophie, where she did something where I was like, uh, uh-uh. uh, yeah, <laughs> that you cannot do that. You can't say that. You can't, you can't operate that way. You can't be. And is this that way. as an adult or even <clears throat> like teen years? Both. Okay. Both. Yeah. And the one thing about her is that I only have to have that particular conversation once. I love that. And she snaps she out of it, it and she's like, got it. And yeah. she moves on and she she learns from it. And sometimes she's not happy about it, of course. Yeah. But <laughs> and, and she moves on and she and she, she makes herself a better person for it. Yeah. So I think letting kids live their life is really important. Mm-hmm. Letting, them, letting them make some some mistakes. Hopefully they're not big mistakes. And that's yeah. that's the risk. But and and uh and also we talk about any anything and everything. We have a very open conversational relationship mm-hmm. and so we we're able to talk to each other about everything i mean she trust me she talks to me about my dating life all the time yeah <laughs> like she gives me the thumbs up and thumbs down i love that all the time I love and, it. have and you I, ever dated someone she didn't like i've dated people that she wasn't very happy about okay yeah yeah but you know and yeah she tells me yeah you know and i I'm love like, that okay. yeah does, that doesn't mean i'm not gonna date the person yeah i was just gonna ask did you but, continue to date them <laughs> but, I, but i will tell you that, that that when i do date somebody they're like I hope Sophie likes me. <laughs> yeah, 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 I love that. Good. But she's, but Sophie's amazing because she's incredibly inclusive. Mm-hmm. It's one of the, it's one of my favorite words to use with her because she's not a mean girl. You know, mm-hmm. she's, she's not, she's not like, okay, I, 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 I can do this, I can do that, and you can't ever. Yeah. She's very inclusive with everybody around her, and she makes, and also she makes sure that I'm the same way. So she'll mm-hmm. be like, don't talk about that if somebody's not going to participate in that. Don't make them feel bad. Like wow. she always, she's amazing. She's amazing. That. That way. That's awesome. And she has her own career and she's off the I payroll. Know, I know. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yay. That's when you know you've made it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's true. I Someone, I recently saw this quote that they said, if your kids want to hang out with you when they're adults, that's how you, that's a successful relationship. Yeah, on my way over here, I told her I was coming to, yeah. to see you. She was like so excited. About Aww, it. She's a huge fan. I of love it. <laughs> and, um, and she's like, can we hang out by your pool tomorrow? I was like, sure. Oh, see, I love that. I it makes me so happy. Yeah. Okay, last thing. Will you play a game with me? Sure. Okay. <laughs> this is called- I guess so. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> you don't have a choice. All right, this is called Hot or Not. So I'm going to give you- Oh, God. I'm going to give you situations with a girl, and I just want you to tell me if you think this is hot or not, okay? Oh, God. Buckle up. No, it's not bad. Okay, she makes you dinner, and it's honestly just not good, but she did try. Hot. Hot, okay. 
You can tell she's already been drinking when you pick her up for a date. Depends how much I drinking. I know. I mean, you. Ha- I mean, a drink, yes. Okay. 30 drinks? No. <laughs> She's slurring her words, maybe no. not so much. Okay, she, I think you kind of answered this earlier, but she insists on planning the first date and does everything. It's all a surprise for you. So she plans She's everything. planning everything. Yeah, I'm, to- I'm you totally like that? that? Yes, because because for the most part, I'm going to be doing it all the time. Okay. Um, and if some if, if there's a special occasion that she wants to do it, absolutely. Okay, okay. Um, okay, she makes you chase her a little in the beginning. Definitely. Hot. I think, yeah, I think yeah. it's hot for sure. Okay. She's also a chef. Uh, yeah, that could be definitely hot. <laughs> My first wife was a chef. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that how you guys met? Yes, we it, met We met through the business. Yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, she has a two-year-old. Well, I'll tell you this. <laughs> if she's a great mom, it's hot. Okay. Oh, that's a good answer. I, I, I love. I love that. I, I think that. I think that moms who are great parents. Yeah. Are, I think that's a hot. It uh, is. That's very a very hot, hot. Okay. Yeah. Because it shows like it shows caring and adoration and thinking about other people. Yeah. No, you're right. All right. Amazing. That uh, I, I, I mean, you passed. Real? I did. You passed. Sixty five percent. Yeah. I, good like job. My, it's like school. Good job. Thank yeah, God. Perfect. <laughs> um, you're amazing. I really appreciate you being here. And then tell everyone where they can find you and also the book. Okay. So um, Bobby Flay, chapter one. Um, thank you so much for talking about my of book. Of course. But um, I mean, you can buy it, you know, Amazon, all yeah. the places you can buy books. And um, where can you find me? I don't know. Instagram. 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 Yeah. Bobby Flay. Yes. Thank you. What, <laughs> are, you're on TikTok, right? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to promote that? I, it's not that it's, I, I am on TikTok. I'm just not. I, I just don't feel like I'm that good at it. You I know? I, you're really good at I it. I don't know. I've lost my my zhuzh, But but I, I, I the, the other thing I wanted to say to you was I love watching you cook when you when you oh, post stuff. Thank you. I've it's been so, so lazy lately. But really? I'm gonna yeah. Well, I, well, no. I've been cooking. I just haven't been posting as much. I've had this love hate relationship with social media lately. But I'm gonna get back into it. So I'm, thank at, you. At some point, I'm going to come to Nashville. I'm going to teach you five dishes to have in your repertoire. I just, would honestly, seriously. I would love simple that. Simple things to feed your family. I would love that. Okay. I feel like you could also just teach me a lot of different skills. Also, how do you sharpen knives? I can't sharpen my goddamn my knives to save my life. Hire somebody. <laughs> I know. That's what I know. I mean. I do. I, I mean, yeah. I, I get somebody to sharpen my knives professionally about once a year. I know you have yeah. to because, well, I've heard too, a dull knife is actually one of the most dangerous things dangerous, you can have in the kitchen. it doesn't go where you want it to. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you. Anytime. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much, Bobby.